tonight's weather brought to you by Van Buren County Hospital. Now, your exclusive forecast from KTVO Storm Team 3. Well, we saw a fantastic day with a lot of sunshine, extremely mild temperatures, stopping out at 52 here at the station. A tumble coming in at 50 degrees for today. We are going to start to see an increase in cloud cover for, to, for tonight, and that's due to that system that's going to be working its way in early tomorrow morning. Temperature-wise, right now, a little bit colder, 39 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the east-southeast at 5 miles per hour. Relative humidity levels, 57 percent, dew point 25. Atemwa coming in at 36 degrees with calm winds. Relative humidity levels, 67 percent, dew point 26. Well, again, we've been talking about for the last, for the last couple of days, we do have that rain that's going to continue to push in and welcoming relief. Uh, we sure do need the rain. Around 7 o'clock, uh, it's starting to move into southern Macon County, and then it's going to spread north and east as we're heading throughout the day. Could hear some rumbles of thunder. Very isolated chances for some thunderstorm activity, especially from Kansas City through Macon area. No severe weather is expected, and then it'll continue to push out of here very late tomorrow night into early Friday morning. So how much rain can we expect? Well, right now, anywhere from a half inch possibly up to an inch, more likely about a good three-quarters of an inch, again, which is very welcoming since we are in still in that extreme drought across our viewing area. As far as the temperature, it's for tonight, 33 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. High pressures moving off to the east. There's that low pressure from the southern plains continuing to advance north and east. Uh, Texas area, Louisiana, they're going to, and Arkansas is going to be getting some severe thunderstorm activity. Again, we are not, again, we are going to get just some uh, heavier rainfall as we're heading throughout the day, especially early in the start of our Thursday. Again, by Friday, by Friday, very early, that'll be out of here. Then we're going to see a very delightful day as we're heading into Friday. In fact, we could see temperatures topping out uh, near 60, possibly 61. That's our new, that's the record. 61 set back in 1928. We could be topping that or at least matching that. We'll have to see. But before that, or after that, I should say, we do have another system that we're watching moving in into the central plains, and that's going to bring us one, colder temperatures on the weekend, and number two, Saturday night bringing us a chance of some snow. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to go from one extreme to the other with extremely mild temperatures and rain and then some colder air and snow. 45 degrees as your high for tomorrow with rain chances likely, so don't forget your umbrella tomorrow on your way to work and school. Southeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. And if you're thinking about going to the budget workshop in Batavia City Council, it's being held at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Temperature-wise, 44 degrees with a chance for some rain showers, and that'll be held at the Batavia City Hall. Otherwise, tomorrow night, overnight lows around 40 degrees, very mild. We should be about 13 degrees. Uh, rain chances continuing out of here by midnight or a little bit after that. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then a great day on Friday, 60 degrees. We'll see partly sunny skies, 32 overnight low Friday night. Saturday, 35 with a 30% chance of snow moving in late Saturday night. Sunday, much colder, 26 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. Big temperature difference. Oh, wow, that's going to be a shock. Exactly, from Friday to 60 to 26 on Sunday. Okay, we're forewarned. Yes, we, we had are. a nice, pleasant weather on Friday. We know what's coming. It's right? coming. Okay, thanks, Short-lived, but it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. 